Hello everyone and welcome back to Sousa Place where we are playing with the Chaos team in the official World Cup ladder and we're doing okay, we're around the 50% win mark which is where I want to be and we're also developing team quite like nicely we're up to almost 1400 team value which is, which is close to as high as we ever got with our Bretonian team they've been surprisingly sturdy so far with me trying to jinx it every time and we've gotten quite a few levels already plus an extra goatman or uh, beastman uh, we had to do that because well we didn't have to do that but uh, it's nice to have one extra just in case uh, our minotaur has leveled up he has uh, got he got uh, MVP in his first game I think or maybe his second and then last game he actually started injuring some opponents that's what we want him to do so let's see what we can get on him now the minotaur can get strength and mutation but he can't get general unless he rolls doubles so if we roll a double we want to make sure we pick up block because we want to use this guy to hit with a lot and block of course is really good when you hit a lot especially when you have loner so you can't trust your rerolls to work but other than that, we will try to pick some stuff from Strength and Mutation. So let's see what we can roll. No double. That means we can either get a guard. We don't have to worry about Mighty Blow, we already have that. Piling on. Um, uh, something we could look at later, maybe. Break Tackle is real good. That will make him more mobile. But if, if we're next to someone, we, we might as well hit them for now. And uh, then we have, of course, some stuff here we want. Claw might be nice. Something we want to pick up as well. We have Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow and Claw is a good combo. But also, we could use him with tentacles. That'll stop people from dodging away from us if they have low, lower strength. And since we have 5 strength, tentacles is pretty good. Also, it uh, has a visual effect, which might appeal to some, but uh, it could be, uh, make him more uh, useful, uh, at least against dodgy teams. I think I'll pick up tentacles, actually, even though I was talking about guard, and guard is really useful. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, go back for now, and I'll check what, what else. We have guard on one player. Probably not going to get God on Count Sheep. So maybe we want another God. No, I'm going to grab uh, Tentacles. Right, we have to roll the dice again. Oh, the same roll. What are the odds? And uh, I'll pick up Tentacles. That way we can see how it works. So basically if someone with if someone with uh, strength 3 tries to dodge away from the Minotaur's tackle zones, or dodge through the Minotaur's tackle zones, they have to roll a 2d6 and get a 7. Uh, they have to get an 8 plus. So they have to roll 8 or higher to be able to do it. Otherwise, they lose their move and stay standing in the tackle zone they were leaving. And that goes for everybody. Uh, if a 4 strength tries to dodge away. I'm not sure what four strength uh, would be dodging. Maybe another Chaos Warrior. Then they would have to roll a 7 plus, which is easier. But still, it's a 50% chance almost that a normal player can't dodge away from the Minotaur. And then they still have to do their dodge, which might fail. So, um, Tentacles is really good. It's, I think it's even better than Prehensile Tail to prevent dodges. Because if you have someone with Agility 5, Prehensile Tail is not going to help you, but Tentacle is going to help against everybody who has uh, lower strength. And you're not going to run into someone who has like 7 strength trying to dodge away from you. So let's go with Tentacles. Okay. It can be really useful if you put Tentacles on your whole uh, line, on all the... Chaos Warriors as well, but uh, there are so many other skills that you want to pick from uh, Strength, General, and Mutation. 
So let's see what Count Sheep gets. This is our Mighty Blow. So I want things that go well with Mighty Blow. We want to be hitting a lot with him as well. So uh, Block would not be bad. Tackle would not be bad. They improve our odds of actually knocking people down. Claw, of course, uh, is also really good because that uh, counters their armor and then Mighty Blow goes on top of that. And the way Mighty Blow works is if you make the armor roll without Mighty Blow's help, then you can use Mighty Blow on the injury roll instead. So uh, Mighty Blow is double useful because it's not only useful on one of them. So let's level up and uh, as you've heard, um, you probably know what I'm gonna pick now. But then I roll 11 and can get agility. Well, that's that's nice, but it's also a bit unfortunate. Agility on a beastman is really, really good because then you can use them for ball carrying. But it's really unfortunate that we already had big mighty blow for this guy. But can I really turn it down on an agility roll? It's really good because you get instead of a you sort of uh, half your chances that you will drop the ball on a pickup. You uh, half the chance that you fail a dodge. But on the mighty blow, because hmm. mighty blow is the one skill we have that I'll well, probably tackle as well, but and claw. Now I wish I'd gone for uh, block first. That's something you should consider, actually. If you go for block first on everybody, then you can still see who gets the agility roll and spec that player into being a ball carrier. But if you start off by picking Mighty Blow and Tackle and Claw, then you've already decided that this is not going to be a ball carrier. But in a short league like this, you have to go right into the skills that get you winning games. So, But if you want to build a team longer term, you should definitely pick the general skill like block first. But hmm, I think we have to go with agility. We can't really trust that we'll get agility on our ball carrier. Not in a short league like this. So let's pick agility. Okay. It'll still be useful, probably. You can still pick the ball up on him. And, well, Mighty Blow won't be as useful then. I'm not sure if I should have picked agility there. Maybe I should have stuck to my plan. And not count in uh, or factor in. Uh, skill rolls or stat rolls I guess skill rolls are the other one. Oh well 10k we already have the apothecary we don't really need to buy anything so let's use this money to make life more difficult for our future opponents our team value w jumped up to 1450 because we got 40 from that uh, level up costs the same as two two levels and that's probably another reason we shouldn't have picked it. But I want agility. It was so long since I actually had an agility 4 player on a team that doesn't start with agility 4 players like rats or elves. Okay, let's see who we're going to play today. We're waiting and uh, I'll cut out the wait time for you guys. Because I'm so nice. So I'll uh, wait on my own here. And I'll bring you back when we find somebody. And we're back. That took a while. It looks like we're going to play dwarves. Pinky roosters. Well, um, of course, there's going to be a large gap between us. We don't need to watch his team then. Let's just go on. Maybe I should pick up a Bloodwiser babe now. Because dwarves are tanky. So, we're probably not going to clear the field with them. Although, this is where our claw can come in useful. We have two of the claws. He's gonna pick a wizard and maybe star player, maybe a bribe. 
apothecary. Interesting. Not usually what a dwarf is first first pick, but uh, definitely something that can be useful if you don't have one, which you probably don't if you have a dwarf. He would have picked a bribe instantly if he had death roller, so he probably does not have a death roller. You don't want to pick up a mercenary death roller, I don't think. That's too expensive. But uh, two blood wise babes, that sure can be useful. And then you might as well take a bribe, I guess. No, he took an extra reroll. Okay. So, no bribe, we don't have to worry about him fouling us. I was kind of worried about him getting Barrick Far Blast and, and two bribes. That will allow him to deal a lot of damage to us. But he went with the standard options, I guess. No star player either. If you want to pick an Apothecary and two Bloodwiser Babes, you might want to pick up a, an extra player also protect you, if that's what your concern is. Let's say hello. The wizard, of course, is a problem. You can't defend against the wizard. And their magic. And, well, we'll have a look at his players. Hello, have fun too. Yes, we will. Try. Now, how do we start against dwarves? Well, apparently we're starting on the offense, because he chose defense. Patrick, Sean Daniel, Sean Dole, Sean Luc, Sean Michel, Philippe, Sean Jacques, Sean Claude, Sean and Sean Marie. Right. So why are the two players who are not named Sean on this team? Uh, okay, well, uh, disregard. Uh, he has two troll slayers. They have Dauntless. We need to watch out for that. Two runners, so we can't knock out both of them, probably. And the rest. No, there's a Blitzer. Does he have two Blitzers? You only see one Blitzer. Um, okay, he only has one Blitzer. And the rest of them are Longbeards. With their tackle, that's not going to be useful at all because we don't have tackle. However, his abundance of block is going to be a problem for us. Okay, everyone with claw, get up there. You're going to hit, and you're going to hit hard. Uh, tentacles, uh, that probably won't be any use. We could surf this dude, or this dude. I'd rather surf his uh, wall carrier, I think. So let's go with that, and you can get up there to assist but I might now if I have yeah I need to tie this guy up if I'm to do this let's put another guy there claw on him you go back and you because you're the best ball handlers now. Then I'll have guard up here to get plus one. Some guy out here to protect. We have this guy who could go up here, but uh, I'd rather use. Well, this is not going to be useful tackle. So I guess he's in his correct element. He doesn't like to be useful. This hit, stop him, get a guy up here maybe. And then blitz from here. Right, so that's gonna be our play. Maybe I should get the guy up there instead afterwards. And then a guy in here so he can't go around this side. Yeah. I'm thinking about how to protect our Minotaur after the, the move works. Which is probably a little bit premature. We get a free move. That's fine. I'll take it. Looks like we're picking the ball up on REM Ram. I don't really need to step anyone else, although I could step here and push him this way instead. And then we have this. Hit. And if it works, I can move this guy in here 
that'll probably save us from... Oh well, then he could blitz him instead. I can't get up there. I can't get there. But he could go this way and blitz us from there, and that's the problem. Maybe I should put the guard guy over there. Oh wait, I've already started. No, confirm setup. Why was that a dodge? Didn't I have a free move? Okay, well, before we do anything else, let's take care of the good stuff here. This one with claw means his armor is not counting. Oh, still didn't break it. And then these guys, that guy could reach us. He'd have a pretty bad roll though. It's this guy we need to worry about. So let's stand in on him. And now let's try this. Of course we want to push. And then we want another push. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do nicely. And he's injured. Nice. Lost armor value too. Maybe that's his apothecary right away. Oh, he used it. Hmm. Let's hope he doesn't get back into the game. Oh, well, he did. Oh, right. <laughs> what, what am I worrying about? I can still move. Okay, well, then we don't need to put this. And I wouldn't have needed to do that either. But uh, that's fair. Um. Yeah, let's hit this guy. Maybe I should hit him sideways first. No, let's just go for Claw here. Claw's nice. There we go. And injury again. Isn't it nice to see dwarves get injured? It sort of warms my heart. I'm not sure about you guys. But, uh... Okay. I'll follow on that. Rude for a first round. It is. <clears throat> I can get around here now. But maybe we should uh, be a little bit stand off here. Uh, let's pick the ball up and get up here. We could uh, try to hand it off to this guy, but why? There's no real point. We've already blitzed. Let's move this guy up to here, so knocking him down won't get off through. And fouling won't do us anything. I think we're far enough apart that we don't need to worry about the wizard right now. I could try to stand in with these guys. I don't want to stand in on the troll slayer though. And I don't want to stand there because that will allow him to frenzy us out. He could of course still frenzy the... the... this guy if he dodges that, that guy out. So maybe it was okay that I st stood up there. And I'll go over here and then move this guy back a little bit so we don't have four players in a in a fireball. So let's go with this. We could try to get around here, but their mobility is so low that this guy can easily do a lot of stuff. moving in on us. Does that mean he is blitzing this guy? I'm not sure what that move was for then. 
Maybe they're just trying to tie us up. I mean, dwarves should try to try to go into tackles or hits because they have always have higher armor than their opponent. But when their opponent has claw like this, you should probably not step in on the guy who has claw, like that guy, for instance. He has so much more block. So I think his plan is to deplete our rerolls by having us reroll hits ineffectively against his armor. And then eventually he will uh, get a chance to start hitting back with block. Like this hit for instance is not very bad. It's not bad at all. Because he has block. We do not. Well, that, that'll stop us from hitting him with more than a single die, but we can move in here and take a two die. Okay, there it is, and he rolled Skull. Still a good good hit to take, and the reroll helped him. Frenzy, of course, makes it so he automatically follows, and also makes it so he hits another time if this first one is a push he could move in here to get a single eye on John form but he didn't and now well get back up there we have these two hits one with claw or we could try to hit his troll slayer the Troll Slayer is a better target, of course. These guys have higher armor, so the Troll would be more useful against them, but it's more useful for us to knock out the Troll Slayer. And I want to hit Sean Daniel here with, uh, with him. First, though, let's move... Let's move up to this side. But I could hit him with him if I clear these two guys out first. Might not be able to do that though. Or I could blitz him with uh, Count Sheep and a mighty blow would be counted. I want to do this, but we should probably start with our claws. Let's get that guy. This should be a plus two for us because guard and then a minus one, so we get a plus one. And hopefully, Claw will... No, didn't. Oh, well, that's fine. We can take these hits. Let's start with Claw, though. So many hits, so little time, right? Let's push this guy to here. Claw makes it so... Yes. There we go. Another armor break. Just a stun. Still good. And we rolled an 11, so that wasn't claw. But it was nice anyway. And then take this guy. Follow. We have God in the middle there. We have those two hits. I guess this one is pretty safe. Should try that first. Okay. That's good that we rolled that on the guy only guy who has block. Now let's try to get rid of this fella. Okay, well there's the roll we didn't want this time. So we had to use a reroll. Mighty Blow did not break him. Rolled one too low, I guess. Stand here. Now let's try to clean up this side completely. Push. Do we get a triple die here? I think so. Yes. Good plan. I could have stood there and got two triple knives. And we're free up on this side. We'll tie up his runner. And then we have one more hit. I'll take the edge. 
If I can, I can't. Okay, so now he could... He could overpower us over here. With one more guy, and then this guy here. Uh, actually, it would only be a single guy then. Okay, well, still good start for us. Good start continues in that we've... Oh, we spent the reroll. I guess he could have used fireball on three people now. But three people we, we have to... We have to expect that at least three people will be able to be hit by a fireball at most any time. I'll try to not clump us up if we don't have to. Okay. Get the guy you can get, I suppose. John Fawn going down. And he's injured. Well, we don't want that to happen. No long term, though, so I'm not gonna reroll that. We have a spare player. Go to sleep. A little bit unlucky because we had we only needed one SPP on John Fawn. But uh, I'll definitely save the apothecary for our level up guys, or expensive guys, which are usually the same ones. That won't allow him to take the two die here, unless he brings more people in. I don't think he can. It'll take a single, uh, I mean negative die here. Oh well, double skulls. Can we roll that? He rerolled it, and uh, that's mu much better for him. He gets to knock us down, but I want to keep him in tight zones, so then I can hit him back. Didn't uh, break our armor, fortunately. Okay, I'll just stand back up. Now I have the Minotaur hit here, and I could push. This guy through here twice. Get the Minotaur in there. But where do I want to put the ball carrier? I could try to go along this edge. But uh, these guys can stop us. Let's take our claw hits. We're not in a bad position. We're not in a hurry to score right here. So let's take that claw hit. And follow. Then I want to take this hit, I suppose. These guys are equally valuable or non-valuable or whatever you want to call it. I'll stay there, that means I can take this hit. However... Okay, I'll hit this guy first. Mm, well, we're not having super good luck here. But now... You can hit him again. Okay, well, let's stop pushing people. Let's start wrecking people. I think this will be a triple die for the first. Well, what did I tell about wrecking people? I'm not wrecking anybody. Just pushing people. Um. Right, well that was completely, utterly useless. What a turn. Okay. Well that's what happens against dwarves. Sooner or later you, they're gonna stay standing. And then you can't really do much. Well, we're not in a terrible position still. These guys are all tied up. And the guard guy is gonna make sure probably none of these are to die. He can still hit us from out here, but he can't reach the ball carrier. I'm a bit sad that we wasted our reroll. 
on that hit wasn't that important really. Okay, he got Dauntless and managed to knock down our... And injure our guard guy. Well, that was super unfortunate. That's the apothecary, because we need him. Uh, and we can kill him instead, so let's just have him skip a game, I guess. Right, well, and this turned bad. It started off fine, but now uh, we're in kind of a tough spot. Two guys out. We have a spare. Only one guy out for our opponent. This guy will get back. Oh, I get to choose a block die. Well, it looks like we're going down. At least we didn't get armor break there. Now he has a single die on the claw as well. Yeah, that was uh, our last turn that, that created this. All the pushes. How many pushes was that? It was like... Five, two dies without getting a single knockdown? Even though none, ha none has uh, dodge. I didn't take that hit for some reason. Alright, oh, it would have been a, a negative. He took a negative against the minnow, so why didn't he take a negative against the claw? The claw. Okay. Uh, I might want to uh, blitz with the minnow, so I'm not going to stand him up just yet. I'll then do this. And there's a knockdown at least. Let's push this guy out here. And follow. That means I can hit that guy. With claw. And there's a third reroll. And just a push. Hmm. We'll go there and follow, that means I can hit him again. I should probably move the ball carrier now. Let's get the ball carrier over to this side. Try to clear out these guys instead. But I will uh, blitz with the Minotaur. Push into Well, that's our, all our rerolls and more. You had five. In four turns, we'd have five results that are double fail for us. Wait a minute, no, six. Because we got two on an earlier turn as well. We rerolled three. No, that's five. Yeah, this is looking kind of rough for us now. More people going down. Not people, but beastmen. And we're on the That guy has had three injuries so far. No long term effect. So now we don't have our agility mighty blow anymore. Maybe it was a bit careless of us to go into this mass engagement. But it started out so well, I thought we had them under control. I'm gonna be short players, and he still has his uh, wizard. We need to get rid of his troll slayers. Apparently, they are very good at breaking armor. Single dice. Knock down. No armor break. And then he has a single die on him. Which he didn't take. Well, now we kind of gotta stand up here. I need to get the Minotaur up, and I need to get this guy down. Let's do both of those things this time. 
There we go. Well, he, he's gonna get back to the next drive, but we don't know where we love him right now, at least. Him? I don't think I will be able to hit him. Maybe... I can hit him. I step in here. But I want to take the claw hit here first. Well, that didn't work. It's supposed to be a one in nine chance of rolling, rolling a turnover when you don't have lock. But if we rolled it six times in five turns, we can't have rolled fifty-four blocks yet, can we? So we must be a little bit. A little bit above our quota. Well, he didn't get the knockdown there. Good for us. We're running out of time. Only three more turns until we turn the half is over. We don't have anyone who can get back. We can get that, this guy on the field. He's gonna get two more players for the next half. Here goes Strontless. Into knockdown. Too bad, the second hit would have been bad for him if he had gotten just a push. We're gonna take this now, still a single die. Now we take the single die. Pushed him away and then he can move in here. I have to take the claw hits. That's how we're supposed to beat dwarves. Instead. Well, he's still okay. Since he moved there, he no longer has a single die on him, but he has a single die there, and that's Skull. Good for us. Well, now I'm thinking we should. Knock this guy down with warm milk, and then uh, blitz here, push him away, and move the ball this way. Then the Minotaur maybe can get in here, but if he can't, we can possibly move this guy around to to uh, stop them from reaching us. So these guys stand up. Maybe I should hit this way and then have this guy move up here. Because I'm blitzing here, I already know that. I should do that first, probably. Now we have block. But I still needed a push. Oh. Well, that's our seventh roll. That falls in that category. Actually, we had another one on him, so I guess we've had eight. But with two of them, we've cancelled with block. So we definitely need block if we're gonna roll eight of those. In six turns, and we're not done yet. Um, yeah, I'll think. I think I'll hit this way. That'll allow me to push him further away. Unless we fail, of course. But we can't control that. I have to hit him anyway. Got him down. Then you can go up here, and you can go up here. So you go here, and you go. What can you get to here? One, two, three, four, five, six. So you go up here then. That means you're in scoring range. That's good for us. And now this is important. We don't have a reroll. But we made it. And then we can hit this guy. There we go. That's our ninth. That one wasn't very important though, so I'm not too sad about that one. So he's not going to be able to dodge away. 
two agility and also tentacles. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, the stun, not so much, but we can still maybe get it to... We have two turns, actually. We don't need to score on the next turn. We'll see who we still have left to move here. This is where a 4 agility would be nice, because then we could have a handoff to the 4 agility be kind of safe. He can hit this with the 2 die, free this guy up to maybe tie one of these up. Instead, oh, that's a 2 die of course. Gets a knockdown. No armor break. Now he can move these guys over here. Create perhaps a two die on him. One, two, three, four, five. He knocks him down first. Mm, he wants to tie him up, I guess. He has this guy to move. But he's probably going for this guy then. You should do that first if that's your plan. Well, he got that knocked down. And did bad. No, he's still okay. We need claw in the next half. We have claw here. We could stand him up and take a claw hit. Then he'd be hit on the next turn. Well, now we can't because he's gonna knock him down. Ah, and then he can get through here and get the ball. There. Follow. Yeah. No? Why not p try to pick it up with your hands? Okay, he did. Oh, that's why. Right. So, I probably can't do much here. I could blitz, but I probably want to blitz him. I'm just gonna stand up here. It's not super important, even though I would like to get one guy up there. This I can hit. If I stand up here, I would have a single guy. Which is not super. Maybe even worth taking it as my last move, though. Maybe I should try to dodge this. Well, the first thing we should do is try to knock this guy down and pick the ball up. Do I want to do that in one move, or do I want to do one guy and then the other? I probably want this guy to protect me, unless this is stun or better, and it's not. So we need to keep him guarded, I guess. That means this guy has to pick the ball up. These guys should not be able to reach us. And the ball is more important than this hit, it's more important than most of these things. So let's take it and go. You're not allowed to drop this, but you did. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a possibility of scoring next turn. Going to the wrong spot though. Now we can just stand up here and, and hinder us. We can't get anyone else over there. Actually, you could pick it up now. Or you could blitz. Well, he gets to knock down a Chaos Warrior. Unfortunately, that's just a stun. I guess he could swarm the Minotaur and get him down. But that's much better.
Yeah, it looks like we're not going to score this half. After that great start. It's going to foul here. We didn't pick up the bribe. We've used our also carry. Hopefully, wow. Well. Right, so let's just forget about getting the ball then, I suppose. Because I don't have anyone who could help with this. Actually, we could. We could uh, blitz from here, push him onto the ball, and then have it bounce this way. I'll have to bounce into his hands. I guess if it lands next to him there, or even there, if this is a knockdown. No, no, that would still only have a single light pushing. Well, it's more important than this, and uh, there's no way we can get this guy to the ball, so let's, let's try it. At least this is a two die. Uh, push. Well, we can't do anything else. Ball bounced right direction. We have a two die here. We could push him onto the ball again, but I think it's more be uh, more better. It's better to push him the other way. And then take one going for to this guy. The ball bounces out, it's more more than likely gonna end up in a place where we can't score. It's very unlikely that it'll land in this area. It might land down here or up here. So we'll done for. Let's take this hit, it's pretty safe. And as I said, I want to get rid of this. His uh, troll slayers, but we can't do that. This would be nice, but it's too unsafe. We rolled enough. Fails, and we fail to pick up the ball again. Okay, so no score for us. At least we injured one dwarf in that half. Well, we lost three of our own guys. Yeah, bad game for us. We're not really high level enough to deal with these guys, even though they're 500 team value lower than us. Well, now he can surf us, of course. Can he surf two? No, I think he'd help. he'll have to do one. Actually, no, he'd have to... If he puts a guy there, a guy there, and a guy there, I can hit him into him. But uh, he doesn't have that many dwarves. He's just gonna knock that guy down. And maybe injure him anyway. No. And here's the blitz. take this hit as well. This is a more important player for us. But he got that one. Let's hope the audience is nice about it. Ah, uh, knockout. Could be bad. Might not get back. Probably won't get back. I guess we have a blood vice at bay, but we should expect him to get back. Even though I'm quite concerned. That is good for us. These guys could get up here and give him a single die. And they are going to. I want our minutes off for the second half. Eight armor, single die. Knockdown. And he's okay. Well, we'll have some players to try to stop this drive with, but definitely not enough. That would be a negative die. Gets the push. And he's gonna take another one. And another push. Would've been nice if he'd run into a skull there and uh, injured him on his turn. Well, 
no score in the first half. Dwarves are firmly in the lead here. They have the ball and the man advantage for the second half. And our guy did not wake up, as expected. He only had one blood OS babe. This guy is gonna have an automatic wake up, so it's two. Well played, I was lucky. Um, So, since he said it's all part of the game, we're gonna return the favor and say same thing here. Well, we have some key players. We have both claws left. And... Just go in tight formation here. I want the claw guys to be able to hit people so we can get rid of some dwarfs on this drive. Yes, 10 players. We are down to 8. It's a 2 player advantage. But we should still have a better chance to get knocked out with our claws than he has hitting us, even though we have 8 armor on some player. He can go for Dauntless on these two. And I should have put a player there as usual, I forgot. That's why I wanted to do, do, do that, but I forgot. Uh. Well, if he's gonna put the, ga the Dauntless or the Trolls race out here, they're not gonna do it. So I guess we am fine then. But that's definitely something I should should have done. Well, he can move up now, so I guess he can hit these guys. He moves both up here and uh, both up here. He can hit them on the inside. Ooh, uh, the kick was kind of long. He might bounce out there, so he gets a free pickup. Not sure why you're going backwards with that guy. Maybe he's afraid that the ball will stay over here and you will be able to get past him. And did. He also didn't step up on our side guard. Okay, let's let's turn this around now. Let's see some dwarf armor breaks. I mean not dwarfs making armor break, I mean dwarfs having their armor broken. He took the single eye instead of using Dauntless. Gets the knockdown but cost him a reroll. And there's the armor break we were talking about and Mr. Sandman is not there. Unfortunately we don't have guard for this half. The guard guy is gonna miss the next game as well. That's too bad. We're down to two Chaos Warriors. That's two more than we had against the last, well not the last one, but against the a Bretonian we played recently. Took another single die. It's not using Dauntless to his advantage. And here's another single die, and that was one too many. He sculled it. And no armor break though, unfortunately. Okay, we're gonna blitz him with Claw. Also, we're probably gonna try to move up. Maybe if we knock this guy down, we can uh, go this way. So I'm gonna claw this way. Claw is better than anything else we have to hit him with. Block, I guess, would be safer, but we can't we can't afford to be safe anymore. We need to try to get this these guys injured. Oh, no armor break there. I'm seven too high. Now we can sort of skirt around him, be a threat, tie up some of his guys maybe. 
How about over here? We can't really get around there. Move up here. Let's go behind the Minotaur for now. I don't want to go up and give him single dice with block against us. Maybe we should just stay back a little bit to see what happens here. Okay, let's take the frenzy. We got it on the first try. Still no luck on the knockdown. I guess we should try to keep these guys locked up, even though he has... Keep this claw guy free to make something happen. I guess he has a dauntless hit on him. But if it's a push, then he his second hit will be uh, at best a single die. We don't have enough players to tie up everybody, especially since his armor is better than ours. And still I went into contact there, maybe I should not have. But we'll see. He ties up our forward guy, that was the point of him. And then gets the ball, sure hands didn't need to be used. Now. Ooh, that is not a dwarf play, as you can see. And he used the reroll for it as well. Is it really that important? He rolled once, twice. Okay, well that's nice. No one in our team got hit. I think that was a little bit of a tactical error. There's no need for him to pass there. It's not like we will uh, blitz him up there. Could have moved this guy back. He's in no hurry, really. Well, he's in a little bit of a hurry. And where would he have gone from here, then? Would he have gone down here? We try to... We can, we can easily hit him down here. Okay, not an elf. <coughs> yeah, it's good he's, in, he's not an elf. Um, could blitz here, or we could blitz here, and maybe get up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Mm -hmm -hmm. Or just blitz here and then get up there, and we'd have claw. Yeah, I like that. Claw didn't help. Okay, well, you stand in there then. I'm not liking it that much. Can I? I can. Might as well stand here. And <coughs> that will force him to blitz this guy to get a better chance at the pickup. Not that he needs. Uh, Super good chance to pick up a 50% right now with a free reroll. That's not super good. Now, do we want to claw the Longbeard or do we want to claw the Troll Slayer? I think we want to claw the Troll Slayer. Uh, come on. Okay, stay there. And then we try to Minotaur our way through here. That didn't work. Do we waste the reroll on this? Yeah, let's try it. Yeah, I thought so more. Still a 50%er. And he's done. I guess that's another one for the count, but... It's been a while since our last one, I think. We're... Since our last one, we've had an average number of 
those trolls. And it's my own fault. I have plenty of chances to pick a block on people. I haven't, though. To die here. Well, that means you could blitz him. It's gonna give you a single die there. It's gonna have a two die here as well. And then he could have a two die on him. Mm. Concerned about this one. We need our claw guys on the field. They're not really hurting anybody right now, but they might. So now he can blitz him away and then pick the ball up. So many more dwarves. Four players short. Really noticeable. Three extra players for him. Took a single die as his first. When he had plenty of two dice. He gets a two die on the second. I guess that was a good plan because now he can move that guy. And I guess it's another on the way. Fine. He can't quite blitz without going for it. There's the two die. Didn't get it. He stays. No, he didn't. Okay, he is gonna blitz from there instead. I guess that gives him block, but it also makes him go for it. He made the going for it. He got the knockdown. Puts his next ball where he has to. Didn't follow. And now he takes the ball and goes over here somewhere, I guess. Single die first, I guess. Push. There's another single die, but now we have block as well. Might not be worth it. At least not before trying to pick the ball up. Okay, he seems to be concerned about the pickup. Even with short hands. I guess he failed it before, so... Maybe it's... Illegitimate, or... Well, that gives us both hits. Well, he gets the ball. And he gets out of our range. Gonna toss another pass. Well, he didn't fail, fail the pickup, he actually passed it, if I remember correctly. No pass. Alright, well, we actually have three two die hits here. But none of them brings us closer to the ball. But I guess we'll have to, we'll have to wait. We could blitz here and get this guy up and running. This is our best chance of injuring someone. But this is actually the one that would allow us to move a little bit. Which one is the most important? Maybe doing these two? So we can have our guys down here ready for when he moves forward. But I think this one is our best. Uh, Let's try these then. Okay, we can't follow on that. Good, good. No counts. One less dwarf. That can be real, really useful. We can get them out of here. It's just a uh, unimportant lineman, but still. Two die here. Get him knocked down. I could try to dodge away from here. Or I could try to blitz here. I could try to dodge and blitz this guy. And then dodge from here. Or I could just blitz here and then try to dodge this guy afterwards. I'd rather hit with, with the claw, of course. I guess this is safer. Let's go for it. No. It's bad.
Where do you go? Negative die roll against block. I guess bring you back, which both claw guys in the same spot. That's not really what you want to do. But I didn't have much choice. Running up here was kind of silly. And I didn't want to try to dodge through three tackles, so he's doing us more good on his feet. Right, well he can build the super cage now. He, he sort of stepped away from everybody. He can also try to tie everybody up. Ties up this guy. I'm sure he will try to move the ball forward. Minotaur can get up next turn. Looks like he's going over here, maybe? We have more players over here. This ties, ties him up. He still has a two-player advantage. You want to go there, really. Because if you go there, I can knock him down and take him down after, like I did last time. If he stands there, I can take him down, but then I still don't have a two-player advantage. Right, yeah. So the ball is going out here then. Minotaur can't move very far. Minotaur can't move very far. We can reach that though. We want to blitz with him, of course. Because that'll give him a better chance of standing up. I'm not sure if I approve of this. Standing one guy next to our claw for strength chaos warrior. Sure it keeps him out of the of the play if you're moving the ball over here but I guess your plan is to blitz here and then this guy might actually come useful okay that's very strange I mean I guess he didn't consider this safe enough but, oh, he failed Dauntless, so it's only going to be a single line unless he rerolls Dauntless. And that's a skull, so he's going to have to reroll the skull instead. Or just take it, I suppose. With Claw. And it's an armor break. Claw actually... Claw didn't get used. He rolled... He rolled a 12 on the armor break. Okay. Considering he tried to pass on his first turn, which seemed to indicate he wanted to move up fast. It's kind of strange that he didn't move up now. This was a great tune for him. Okay, we have this hit. We have these two. You could stand up. I guess I could dodge you and get a blitz in, actually. Ooh, that's tempting, tempting. But maybe we should just take our advantage where we can get it and get the Minotaur up with a little bit of a more higher chance. I think I'm gonna have to sacrifice you. Maybe he's planning to do this. If I blitz here I could then dodge and get next to him. Well again this is important. I guess in that sense I should run around this side and stay somewhere where I can reach this guy in case his plan works. I want to break armor. I can't do it like that. These two, nice to have, but also... We're gonna go all in on this, or are we gonna go a little bit safer with one going for it? We have rerolls. Let's go all in on this. And we should have. Should definitely not have. Oh, that's too bad. That was a really crucial point not to roll double fail on a 3 plus. At least we brought this guy down here to our credit. We didn't stand the Minotaur up. 
If I was gonna blitz there, which I decided to, I should have taken a moment of pause and then tried to stand the Minotaur up with a 50% chance. And there he goes again. Another stun on on High Beard Nation. He's really being a useless player. And now he can, if he goes there, still only get a single die here. He can take this single die first, and then he can have a two die here. Or if he moves down here, he can take a single die here and a single die here, which would of course be the wrong order. Also, you might want to bring the ball carrier down a bit. No, he took it to the right order. Gets the push there, that means he gets a two die on him. And knocked down. Well, we still have our safety here. Safety claw. Sean Claude. He, he's gonna get Claude, maybe? Uh, no. Okay, so he's not handing it off to this guy. Um, he's in tech range, so he's probably gonna put the guy here. Oh, that'll work. Yeah, we'd have to dodge through here and also do two going for the solution. Now. Hmm. This is not turning out to be profitable or no, not profitable. At least you stand up. Get more safety down here. I think I want to blitz here. And if I want to, then maybe I should move this guy after. If I'm gonna blitz there, then I should try to stand the Minotaur up first. Do I want him to be in tackle zones, or do I want him to be free to blitz next turn? The ball's gonna be down here. That's gonna be out of range for the Minotaur anyway. Let's try to get him here. Alright, he did it again. He's good with those. And then, I want to do that hit, but this is also useful for us. So let's take this hit first. It's also a two die. Also with claw. There we go. Really good. Now he can't continue downfield for a while. If I stood here he could uh, frenzy us out. One, two, three, four, five. So you need to go back here I suppose. Or I could try this, but then he blitz us out of there. One, two, three, four, five. I guess just to be safe. Just to be safe. Then he can't. He can't surface. He could have stood like that. I'd probably be a little bit smarter. He has a way through here. But then he's closer to the Minotaur and this guy, and you can still hit him, maybe. Please, Claw, do something. I'm gonna stay here. The other guy is more important, and there's a chance that that guy goes down. Still, he has to stun. We need a Claw for the injury rolls as well. That's Mighty Blow, so we want Mighty Blow on our Claw people. A little bit of a threat from behind. Maybe he'll overlook this guy. He can't blitz both of these, but he can go this way. And he can use these three to build sort of a cage in this area. He only has three turns though. I doubt he'll go... Well, he's going to tie up all these down here. 
en een blitzer. Not good enough. Just a push. And if you follow, we have a two die. Ooh, he rerolled it. And he got it. That's his last reroll, though. And if you stay with the ball here, you can bring these guys into there. Looks like he's concerned about going forward more than he is going backward. Now, where's he gonna put the ball? He, just, he won't have any protection from behind now. So if he goes here, three, four, five, six, we could hit him with one going for it. Unless he dodges one of these guys out, but they have two agility, so the dodge would be really poor, especially since he has no more rerolls. Okay. That's fair. We could. Mm. That won't be a good roll though. Maybe if we do two going for it to get there. Or one going for it. Okay, yeah, that's better. Uh, I think we're at the point where we need to dodge, dodge out or something. Take this one, come on. It's a negative die. One, two, three, it just didn't reach him. Didn't really. Well, it, I guess maybe it gets him in swing range. Okay, well, you guys definitely need to start moving up. I should stand up here. Because I'm not going to dodge out of that. Have that hit again. That can wait. The really important move is to dodge this guy, push him into here, and then we could hit him here again if the first one is a push. But we need that dodge. Do we keep this guy up here to score with? I think so, right? We, we want to go for wins. Dodge, that's our riddle score. At least we don't need to do go going for it. Oof, we made a, f a dodge finally. And we got the knockdown. Great, so where do we want to push him? Probably just sideways here. Hmm. Could try to do one more going for it here. And then have this guy. Hit him. But if we fail that, we can't reroll it. And it's good to have a guy next to the ball. No, let's stay there. And this is a better chance for us. This one's more important. And also, they were gonna fail anyway. And there goes, finally goes our Minotaur. He's rolled enough skulls this game. Right, two more turns. He can finally get this guy. He's been causing havoc over there. And these guys can move. He has one, two, three, four, five, six to three in the ball area. And still has two to one here. This guy tied up, and then we have a spare player. So his three player advantage is back. Knock down our best ball handler. Then he can get a push on him. Knock him down. And then he can blitz. He can move up here. Blitz this guy with Dauntless and then pick the ball up again. Not much we can do about that. Maybe he'll fail something. Maybe we'll get a push here instead of a knockdown, and then the second second one would be bad. And then he rolls a skull. Ugh, it's wishful thinking. It's still gonna be tough for us to get that ball. He needs, he needs to get the dwarf in scoring position this time now. It's gonna be him. 
He's putting all his eggs in one basket. Ooh, that works. I guess after we rolled 10, it was worth one. It's done. Okay, now what do we do? How do we get this ball? Yeah, that's a bad roll for you. How, how, how? He can score, so I guess our play here is to knock him down. I could try this, get a push, have the ball bounce out ideally to here, but somewhere, then maybe I can uh, dodge out and take it if we want to win this game. We have two turns, <coughs> but uh, getting the ball up there would be... getting the ball in our hands would be a start. Then again, I can ensure the tie by hitting this guy first. I think I'll do that. There we go. Keep him there, maybe he will catch the ball somehow. So, what else do I have? Single die there. I think I have to take one of these. I don't want to push him down because that would bring him into scoring range. So I guess I also don't want him to be able to push him down, so I don't want to be standing above him. Yeah, that's good enough. Since I'm now standing below him, I guess he could push him closer. That's not the way I wanted it to go, but we'll deal with it. Dodge and pick up. Dodge failed. Okay, well, 67% dodges haven't been our best. Well, if the ball is still loose, what can he do here? This guy can't score unless he pushes him downward. So the only way he could do that is to put a guy here and then push him into him, then have him run into the end zone and then get, take the ball and pass it to him. He didn't, didn't do it. I don't think he had players to do it. Oh, what he could have done is blitz us from here. If he had stood that guy there, then blitz us from there, pushed him into him, and then pushed him down. Then ran him into the end zone, and then picked the ball up with someone else and tossed it to him. Well, now he stood up, so the chance is gone. He got the knockdown. Not onto the ball, I assume. Oh, that's risky. If it bounces. It bounces upwards, we have a better chance. Of course it didn't. I don't think this pass is, uh, is doable. It's gonna knock down him as well. It is an armor break, just a stun though. We'll run back here to assist. I'm gonna say good, good game. No one managed to score. He did a good job. He had a much lower team value, but we helped by rolling many turnovers. I guess we were about equally close to scoring. We still have a chance here. We could toss it to this guy and then um, have him run up and relay it. If he doesn't knock him down, he might do that. There's the Dauntless. Don't injure our tall guy, please. Thank you. We can stomp on him, but... I, guess I don't get the foul turn 16 feeling from this guy. It's been kind of nice. And if you want to foul, you should foul this game. Ooh, that, that would make things more difficult for us. Yeah. I'm not sure I can toss the ball this far. And then he's gonna try to get next to us as well, I guess. Two, three, four, one going for it.
No? Okay. What if I, instead of trying to blitz with him and pick it up on him, what if I... Oh, I can't get much further with this guy. I mean, if I blitz with him and then pick it up here. Yeah, he forgot about having to score on his previous turn. Good defense. I could try to knock him onto the ball and hope it bounces this way and cut some steps with this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I think it's too far. This is a single die. But we only need a... No. No, this is better, actually. Let's take him down. Oh, well, that's the end of it. Another one for the count. And we stunned him. He has thick skull, otherwise he would have been knocked out. Right, so we don't need to do this dodge. We don't get to know if we were actually in range for that. A tie. Zero, zero draw against dwarves. That's everybody's favorite. We did injure one dwarf. Right off the start, we got our armor breaks early. If we had got, hadn't got those armor breaks early and instead late, I think that would have been a loss for us. More SPP for Count Sheep. That's good. He's now a multi purpose guy. Same number of armor breaks, but they had more knockouts and injuries. Well, that's to be expected with them having thick spells and everybody, but still, we had a few more successful blocks. I guess we can't complain. And SPP-wise, not very much. He got nine? Yeah, he's... That was the guy who injured... Injured two of our guys. Uh, so I guess it wasn't three. All in the first half as well. Yeah, I think I could have done better if I had had a full team for the second half, of course. But that'll be it for now. We didn't get to see our tentacles do anything, but at least we get to see them. We got to see our Minotaur getting knocked out. And unfortunately we don't, we won't have a guard for the next game. Why is guard always the skill you you lack. So we're definitely gonna play someone who has four strength linemen, like Orc or... We're gonna play an Orc or we're gonna play Lissage. That's my prediction for next game. We will see. At least we had Claw work out for us a couple of times, I think. And we're getting close to another level on both Goodnight and Mr. Knockout. And that'll be mighty blow for them, I believe. Meaning we will have plus one after claw as well. Or oh, wait a minute. Claw is after modifier, right? Any armor roll or eight or more after modification breaks armor. Yeah, but that that means it's an eight plus. But if you roll a 7, then might, uh, Mighty Blow kicks in, and then it's 8, and then Claw kicks in. So yeah, it, it'll be like Armor 6 to break armor. And if you break armor on Armor 7, then we have a plus 1 for the injury roll, if that would matter. They work well together. Together, It's uh, one, of the, one of the best combos, and that's why Chaos are so popular, because of that very combo. So we should definitely try to get it. But uh, we can't get it now. We will have to wait until the next game. Uh, or after the next game. And uh, hopefully we can get it then. But uh, that will happen in the future. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this match. And uh, the series in its entirety so far. If you watched all the games. And I'll see you back for the next one.